Hey guys, wanted to show you a cool automation uh, we came up uh, related to ponds. So ponds are a great way in Follow Up Boss to keep old leads, keep leads you want to nurture. There's a lot of great uses for them, but um, I'm here under admin uh, in Follow Up Boss, going to click on ponds just to see we've got a couple. This is a demo account, um, but we've got a couple of ponds existing. So um we use one of these existing ones as the example so this automation basically takes people who become active in the pond and the idea is that it would just reassign it back to an agent or a group of agents uh round robin or however you prefer to do it but the idea is basically that you know we kind of want to set it and forget it in the pond but we don't want to miss people that take action Obviously, if you're a YLOPO user, you could have things like a hand raiser or a Y priority tag. Um, but for now, we're just going to dig in. So going to go to automations. I'm just going to make a fresh new one here. Um, and what I want to say is if somebody, obviously an inquiry would would um, trigger probably a deeper alert. But in this case, I'm going to select property inquiry, property saved, or property viewed. And so and these are an or sequence. So if any of these things happen, now I want to be careful here because I want to run it only on people that are in a specific pond. So I want to, in this case, we'll use the ISA never made contact pond. Um, and so now we've said, if somebody does one of these things and they're in this particular pond, we want to do this on, there's a real simple action here to reassign. And a great idea is to actually reassign this to a group. Um, so for example, if you had buyer leads, a buyer leads group, um, that could be a great way to assign that again, it could be round robin or first to claim, but you know, in some sense, this is a bit of a fresh new lead that kind of came off your radar. So I really love this idea of reassigning it to, um, an agent similar to a new lead, but with a little bit of history. One other cool thing you could do, you could also add a note, um, which will notify, the assigned team member, um, old lead from pond, um, taking action, please contact. And so in this case, um, we want to say assigned agent. I do not know this for a fact, but it should fire as in that it reassigns and then it'll add the note. Uh, hopefully to that agent as it reassigns. This is just an idea that we're actually just trying out now. And I think you want to run this more than once per person because if somebody comes back and they're not interested and you put them back in the pond, I would think you would want this to run um, again. So and be sure that you give your automation a good name, something like ISA pond activity reassigns to buyer leads. So that way you've got this saved um, or you've got a good name on it. So you know what it is if you need to find it and then just hit save. And uh, it's a pretty good system. So obviously you want to save and enable it. The other cool thing about automations is you can come in and easily see how many times they've run. So just keep an eye on it to make sure it's doing what you want it to do. But um, you can easily and you can click on this number. Once this automation fires, you can click on this number to see the people that it fired on. So again, just a quick tip for being able to kind of move people to a pond and, and sort of leave them be or have them on an action plan or, or let, you know, Raya or remarketing work on them. But the idea that if someone in that pond takes action, just go ahead and reassign it to another agent. Don't, don't bother um, hoping somebody sees it in the pond or who's going to get it, but just reassigning it straight to another agent. So I hope it's a useful tip. Uh, give it a shot. If you have any success with it or find other things, drop us a note or leave a comment.